fourth semester students bsc agriculture today i will take the third lecture after taking class of rose and gladiolus so today i am going to teach you the production technology of lilium and myself dr asmita so lilium lilium is one of the important bulbous plant it is recognized as a symbol of purity it is a national flower of italy it belongs to the family liliaceae and its basic chromosome number is 12 so the diploid chromosome number is 24 nowadays siroa lily is also getting famous in the lily lilium cut flower industry a number of colors are available in lilium flower that is yellow orange pink red white and also the bicolored flowers with or without spots uses of lilium lilium flower is basically grown for the cut flower production in addition to this it is grown for pot plant purposes and for park garden and landscape decoration besides all these uses species like lilium asiatica lilium davidi lilium rubellum lilium longiflorum lilium browni lilium lancifolium lilium pumilum is used for the consumption and medicinal purposes in country like china and japan why it is used for the consumption pro purposes because the bulb of lilium is a rich source of carbohydrate so it is consumed as a food now what days as you all know uh, or i have already taught you that rose is the number one flower in the cut flower industry but nowadays you can easily see the lilium bouquet in the market or as well as in the important occasional function functions and so it is giving the tough competition to the rose in the world cut flower industry you can easily see in the picture a bouquet of <laughs> lilium which is being used in various occasion as a bouquet lilium bouquet instead of rose bouquet so it is emerging as a novel cut flower now the commercially cultivated type of lilium around 110 species are accepted under genus lilium but there are four types of lilium which is cultivated on the commercial scale first one is lilium longiflorum it is also called easter lily second is asiatic lily then oriental lily and la lily la lily is the combination of longiflorum into asiatic beside this yellow lily and ot lily is also being grown yellow is the cross of longiflorum into oriental and ot is the cross of oriental into trumpet this is the table showing you the basic differences between asiatic and oriental lily one thing i would like to tell that is lily is basically a typical temperate climate flower crop but 
nowadays a number of species that has been introduced in the subtropical condition to make the cultivation in the subtropical climatic region but not all the lily type can grow in this subtropical condition for growing in subtropical condition asiatic lily and la lily performs better because it can tolerate the heat that in compare to the oriental and other type of lily now the difference between asiatic and oriental lily when you will see the bulb of asiatic lily it is whitish to yellowish in color but in oriental it is pinkish in color when you will see the size of bulb in asiatic lily is it it is slightly smaller than the oriental lily plant height is also smaller than the oriental lily and when the flower is produced it is the orientation of flower is upright in asiatic lily whereas in oriental lily fragrance is absent in asiatic lily but in oriental lily fragrance is found in lilium flower size is smaller in asiatic as compared to oriental and the crop duration is also of 3 to 4 months in asiatic but in oriental lily it is of 5 to 6 months there are some varieties that is popular in different types of lilium first is asiatic in this dreamland brunello novana poliana oriental hybrid stargazer pink and stargazer white in eastern lily elegant lady a snow queen white american croft and harbor is cultivated whereas in la hybrid brindisi ecolana pavia cultivars are more popular these are the varieties that is a stargazer pink stargazer white these are the la hybrids of lilium first one is brindisi the white color cultivar is ecolana and the third one is brindisi climatic condition and soil that is suitable for the lilium cultivation lilium is mostly grown in green houses means it is grown as protected cultivation the day temperature requirement is 21 to 25 degree celsius whereas night temperature requirement is 12 to 15 degree celsius a low light intensity is beneficial for the lilium growth so sednite sednet can be used in lilium cultivation the relative humidity should be around 80 to 85% and sandy loam soil is most suitable for the lilium cultivation with ph 6 to 7 now we have to plant the lilium crop so the best planting material that is commercially used for the lilium cultivation is bulb bulb is commercially used for lilium cultivation when you will see the bulb of lilium it will look like somewhat look like garlic अगर आप इसके बल्ब को देखोगे यह तो बिल्कुल लहसुन की तरह नजर आएगा अदर प्रोपागेटिंग मटेरियल दैट इज यूज फॉर द लिलियम मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज बल्बलेट बुलबिल स्केल एंड टिश्यू कल्चर मेथड विच आई विल बी डीलिंग लेटर ऑन सो दिस बर्ब्स आर द नॉन ट्यूनिकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर 
yesterday i told that in gladiolus classes that gladiolus is a tunicated form tunicated means it has outer covering protective layer gladiolus may ek protective layer hota hai but in lilium bulb mein koi bhi protective layer nahi hota hai bulb is a modified form of stem and the bulb is composed of modified scales that is the modified leaf is called scales and a compressed stem is called vessel plate when you will break the lilium bulb a sticky mucilaginous material will be formed it is nothing but the starch particle when you will see the root of the bulb it has three types of root that is basal contractile and feeder root this is the figure i am showing you this is the lilium bulb bilkul lehsun ki tarah aapko ye nazar aayega jaise lehsun ko aap separate kar sakte ho into cloves agar aap lehsun ko hataoge to that individual unit is called clove so in the in this similar way agar aap लीलियम के बल्ब को सेपरेट करोगी तो जो सेपरेट होगा उसे स्केल कहते हैं इट इज अ मॉडिफाइड फॉर्म ऑफ लीव एज यू कैन सी इन द फिगर दिस वन इज द बेसल प्लेट एंड फ्रॉम बेसल प्लेट टू टाइप्स ऑफ रूट इमर्जेस दैट इज बेसल रूट एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल रूट when you will plant into it into the soil some secondary vegetative structure is also formed above the bulb that you see in the figure it is nothing but bulblet i have written in the text also that is bulblets are the secondary structure formed naturally Really on the stem above the bulb, but below the ground level, and the roots that is arising above the bulb, it is called stem root or feeder root. Feeder root helps in the absorption of mineral nutrients and water from the soil. this is the tissue culture raised plant of lilium if you have to multiply the lilium in a short span of time tissue culture method is the most popular method to get the large number of planting material within a short period of time next is the scaling method as i have told earlier that if you will separate the bulb of lilium that individual unit is called scale this one is the scale figure you see in the figure this is the scale if you will individually plant into the into a media like coco peat a uh, small sprouts will emerge out that is the small bulblet see in the next figure that the bulblet has grown out from the scales this is the scaling method that is followed in lilium for the multiplication of plant this is the bulbils that is formed in the axil of the leaf in the lilium now the bulb size of lilium in asiatic lily bulb size goes up to 10 to 16 cm it is the circumference of the lilium bulb but it in the oriental lily it is more than 16 cm it is the ideal size to get the quality flower production in lilium in north indian plain condition October November time is the best for the cultivation of lilium
generally a spacing of 20 into 15 15 into 15 or 15 into 10 cm is recommended depending on the cultivar and bulb size now the irrigation of lilium field after planting uniform moisture is necessary in the field so after that it is shifted to drip irrigation system to avoid the wetting of foliage thus reducing the chances of disease when we talk about fertilizer application through drip irrigation npk 19 is to 19 is to 19 is given to 2 to 3 times in a week 200 ppm solution is prepared and it is given through fertility fertigation but when we have to apply the fertilizer in the soil 200 kg per hectare nitrogen 200 kg per hectare phosphorus and 200 kg per hectare potassium is required flower biology when you will see the flower of the lilium it is divided into tepals male part and female part tepals tepal is the collective name of sepals and petals because there is no difference in the color of sepals and petals in lilium so there are three sepals and three petals in lilium so the number of tepal is 6 in lilium and when you will see the female part it is collectively called pistil and include the central style and stigma the male part includes filament connective style when you will touch the male part of the lilium flower it is sticky in nature means it is if you are going in the field and it is going to touch to your cloth it becomes ten so but there are some varieties like aphrodite is phoenix and tiara which is non sticky means which whose male part is non sticky in nature so before going to the lilium field be careful that it should not stick to your clothes this is the lilium flower that the figure is showing the sepals petals male part and female part of the flower now the harvesting and yield when we have to harvest the lilium crop when the lower most bud starts showing color but it has not opened it is the ideal stage of harvesting the lilium flower spike is cut 15 to 20 cm above the bulb and the remaining portion is allowed for the development of bulb after we harvest to get the better size of bulbs it is left in the field for the further development obviously leaves must be on the plant for the photosynthesis process so that photosynthesis could accumulate in the bulb for increase in the size of bulb after the cutting of flowers it is immediately placed in the cold water at 2 degree celsius to 3 degree celsius one can also use the preservatives at the rate of 2% sucrose and 100 ppm ga3 held it goes to 30 to 40 flower stem per meter square this is the ideal stage of harvesting of flower that you can see in the figure it is the color development stage but the bud has not 
open that i have discussed in this slide this is the packaging grading packaging figure of lilium lilium is attacked by a number of insect pest and diseases but the most important pest is aphids when the aphid attacks in lilium the leaves become curled and deformed in flower bud green spots you see in the figure also green spots develop on the young bud and flower become deformed and remains partially green for the control from aphids weed control is necessary or spray with the chlorophyll at the rate of 2 ml per liter the important disease that attacks the lilium is the bulb and scale rot it is caused by the fungi like pythium rhizoctenia and fusarium species the symptom develops as a brown spot on the top and side of bulb and later which starts to rot thus when this type of bulbs are planted retarded retarded growth occur with pale foliage so soil disinfection must be needed to control from this disease and maintain lowest possible soil and greenhouse temperature when planting remove the infected bulbs and scale and before planting dip the bulb in bevestine solution at the rate of 0.2% this is the rating scale that if less than 10% infection is there rating is given as 1 10 to 30% 2 rating is given and 31 to 50% 4 3 rating is given for the bulb or scale rot now abnormality is also found in lilium the first one is leaf scorch is also called leaf burn leaf wilt and leaf scorch leaf scorch occurs when there is a disturbance in the balance between absorption and evaporation of water thus there is the this condition causes the calcium deficiency in the cells of youngest leaves so so the cells are destroyed in this situation and die a sudden change in relative humidity inside the greenhouse also affect this process which results in poor root system and high salt level in the soil for control from this abnormalities soil should be moistened before planting and plant the bulb to a adequate depth that is 10 cm of soil on the top of bulb and prevent large differences in greenhouse temperature and air humidity levels during period of increased susceptibility a uh, relative humidity of 75% must be maintained the second abnormality is bud drop or and bud desiccation bud drop is a problem in lilium cultivation it happens when the plant receives the low light intensity due to low light intensity or light deficient condition the stamen present in the flower produce ethylene which causes the bud to abort Uh, this there is an increased risk of bud desiccation if rooting conditions are poor for example too dry soil to control from this bud drop 
don't allow varieties susceptible to bud drop to grow in poor light condition bulbs should be allowed to dry out during planting and ensure that bulbs root well and grow in the most favorable condition possible particularly as far as lighting and transpiration are concerned so this leaf scorch and bird blast are the abnormalities found in lilium yesterday i also told about that <laughs> while taking the class of uh, gladiolus i told that uh, lilium gladiolus exhibits a period of dormancy so like that lilium also exhibits a period of dormancy jis tarah gladiolus mein dormancy hota hai usi tarah lilium mein bhi dormancy paya jata hai to break the dormancy of lilium lilium bulbs are stored at 4 degree celsius for 2 to 3 months जब लीलियम के बल्ब को हार्वेस्ट करते हैं उसके बल्ब को 4 डिग्री सेल्सियस पर दो से तीन मंथ के लिए कोल्ड स्टोरेज में रखते हैं ताकि उसके डॉर्मेंसी ब्रेक हो सके द डॉर्मेंसी इन लीलियम इज ड्यू टू द एकुमुलेशन ऑफ एप्सिसिक एसिड इन साइड द बल्ब ड्यू टू द एप्सिक एसिड एप्सिक एसिड के कारण जब हम लोग लिलियम के बल्ब को हार्वेस्ट करते हैं उस समय एप्सिक एसिड की मात्रा बहुत ज्यादा लिलियम के बल्ब में पाई जाती है उस समय अगर आप उस बल्ब को प्लांट करोगे तो वह फ्लावर नहीं देगा वो ग्रोथ नहीं होगा उस बल्ब में स्प्राउटिंग नहीं होगी due to the presence of abscisic acid so it is kept at the cold storage for the breaking of the dormancy before keeping it in the cold storage after harvesting of lilium bulb it is dipped in the solution of bevestine and left it for the dry for some period then only it is kept in the cold storage in plastic tray thank you go through this lecture and if you have any query please send me a mail on asmitakumari97@gmail.com